Now we finally get one of the bigger, uh, more anticipated titles of this Christmas period, which of course is Borderlands 2, or Borderlands 2, depending on your stance on it. And it is kind of everything that you expected. It's that same cel shaded crazy, zany style, and very much about the uh, the, the loot whoring. And it's, it's, I don't know, I don't know what to say besides the fact that it is quite simply the evolution of one. But let's go into exactly why. Show them up, honey! Presentation wise, the graphics look pretty similar. They do look nicer. There's always a little bit of extra sheen put on. There's a lot of new different enemies and, and new like uh, bad guys and things like that. So the design side of it still looks great. And I know a lot of people hated the switch over when they initially announced Borderlands 1 from the realistic style to the cell shader style, but I think it's managed to really come out dividends. The sound is great, like the voice acting, like the actual VO work itself is genuinely funny at times. It's hit and miss, but it hits more than it misses. Uh, there's a lot of great things about the presentation in this game. Like, it, it looks pretty nice. That said though, plenty of times when I fell through the map, there were plenty of times when I got caught in rocks, there were plenty of times when all these glitches happened. Now I know I seem to be the person who gets all the glitches and I've had emails about it in the past, but trust me when I say when you're falling through the map, you notice it. It's simple as that. So all up, presentation wise, flaws aside, 8 out of 10. Buddy, what the hell are you do, do, do? <laughs> Holy scat sack! I'm invisible! This is you! I I can't minion! Give me five! Oh, right. Moving on to the gameplay now, and did you like Borderlands 1? Well chances are you're gonna like Borderlands 2 because it's effectively the same mechanics. It, it, it is a, it is first person looting. Let's face it. You you go around, you're shooting guns, um, you're fighting the newest ones, you're fighting the like the, the best ones that you can. You're changing all the time, you're spending as much time in menus as you are in uh, like actually fighting, which is the sign of any good loot whoring game. And basically, the best thing about it is the fact that you can go co-op. Like, it's a great game single player, but the co-op is really where this game is made. If you're playing it by yourself, yeah, it's a fun game, yeah, it's great to go pick up these guns and all that kind of stuff, but the game like changes itself depending on how many people you have in game. So if you have four people in, it's harder, you have to work better as a team, you have to like complement each other's skills in a really, really big way that you probably didn't have to when you were playing by yourself. But that said, it's not essential that you play with uh, four people. You can have two, you can have one. It's just a better experience the more people you have on board. So gameplay on this one, again, eight out of 10. Now we're going into uh, our final, and uh, it's the dreaded eight out of 10. And, I don't want to make that sound like it's a bad thing. This game is fantastic. It's got its glitches, it's got its flaws. Yes, it's the same game as it was before. So if you didn't like Borderlands 1, chances are you're not going to like Borderlands 2. But I think that co-op really adds to it. Like the co-op in the first one, you added to the game, made it great. This one is a nine with co-op. If you're playing it by yourself, it's an eight. If you're playing it with friends, it's a nine. It is a better game for the more people you have playing it with you. And it's so much fun to run around, you know, just loot whoring everything, finding all these cool guns, sharing it between each other, like the trade system works really well, challenges work really well, everything about it just screams co-op buddies. But for now, I'm off to go find myself another fancy new sniper rifle. <laughs> 